Baku is a charming city with a rich history and many attractions, although one site that features prominently across modern Baku is construction work. The city is experiencing rapid growth owing to increased oil investments and numerous international projects. Sport is among the city's priority and hosting the first ever European Games scheduled for June next year is top of the agenda. It doesn't matter how much oil is in the Caspian, the one commodity it cannot buy is time. Uh, and so we are on a time-critical path here. The opening ceremony has to be delivered on the 12th of June. There's no scope for delay. The former chief executive of the British Olympic Association, who is now responsible for the preparation of the European Games in Azerbaijan, added he has no reasons to be worried about the readiness of the event. Of the 18 venues that will host the competition, the majority are ready. Concerning the rest, the venues are reportedly on track to be completed in time, such as the main arena. The Olympic Stadium is a symbol of the European Games. It will host the opening and closing ceremonies and will be a stunning example of this competition's legacy. After the Games, it will become the home ground for Azerbaijan's national football team and will host four matches at Euro 2020. The price tag of the Olympic Stadium, which will have a capacity of 68,000 people, is more than 500 million euros. It should be completed by February 2015. Uh, this is the biggest construction in Azerbaijan and has been transformed in a very short period of time. Everything you see around here has been built in just two years. Just two years ago, it was a swamp and had some ponds over here. It seems even the traffic jams in Baku won't hamper the smooth running of the Games. Like at the London Olympics, during the event there will be special traffic lanes reserved strictly for participants and officials of the Games. What we are doing for the Games time is try and avoid all that. Going around the city rather than through the city. So the plan that you see here in blue is the, the, the Games route network. In other words, the roads that we will use for our uh, games operations. Also working hard for the fast approaching competition are the athletes themselves, just like two-time Olympic silver medalist and the ambassador of the games, Ravjan Baramov. There are Pan American Games, Asian Games, so it makes sense to have a European Games as well. Hopefully the inaugural edition will be a success for my country. Polishing their program, which they will present at the Games in June, are the home artistic gymnasts. Any federation of any European country can participate at the World and European Championships. For the European Games, like the Olympics, you need to qualify. Volunteers for the opening and closing ceremonies continue to fine-tune their routines. The final preparations for athletes are being carried out at the Games' village, while countless cups of coffee have been drunk at the office of the Baku 2015 Organising Committee, which has 1,200 workers helping to make sure of a successful Games. How will we measure the success of the European Games? Uh, and I think that there are a number of ways. First of all, coming from sport, I want to ensure that the 6,000 athletes from the 49 countries leave here saying that this was a fantastic sporting occasion. Uh, because if athletes want to come to the next European Games, then of course broadcasters will want to continue showing the television footage from the next European Games. It's now just six months before the first ever European Games, which will deliver 253 sets of medals over 20 sports.